I would like to start the video by mentioning I know I'm a little late to the party. Subnautica was released 7 years ago and for that I'm sorry, but better late than never I guess. Subnautica is an open world environment that allows for the exploration of many uniquely breathtaking biomes, and each biome has different threats and valuable resources as well as intel that become more important as the game continues. I love how little the game holds your hand, it lets you connect with the world and does not take you out of the immersion. Something about having little to no idea of what you're doing most of the time really does suck you into the story. The story itself I think is interesting and kind of reminds me of Breath of the Wild. This is because you have to figure out what happened to your Altera transport ship and how to fix it. I feel like it is hard to pace an open world game, but for the most part this is done pretty well. I personally really enjoyed it even if I think a few life pods could have been better placed. Subnautica often drills the question that we all ask ourselves while playing. I wonder what's even deeper. This question is what guides world progression and how to ultimately continue the story. The music in the game also helps guide the story. It feels very unique and awesome. I felt like I had to mention it inside the review somewhere, since it deserves some praise. It puts a lot of big titles to shame, it always amazes me how small teams are often the most effective, and even end up making some of the best games to date. The game's visuals are one of the less impressive things about the game, but considering how famously acclaimed the game is with such a tiny budget, I can't hold it against them. Plus the game does look kinda beautiful at night along with some of the biomes. My personal favorite is the grassy plateau. A lot of the sea creatures are also unique in design. You can tell that a lot of heart went into everything about this game. All of this collective love for the game built a world that you could possibly see in the movies. This combined with many archives of lore for the game makes it feel special. The fans surrounding Subnautica I found to be very supporting and genuinely love the game. I feel like a strong foundation is needed for a strong game, and luckily Subnautica has a strong foundation, and because of this is a strong game. There were a lot of things I was not expecting through my playthrough of the game. These being reapers, numerous vehicles, and islands mixed with alien technology. I feel like there were a lot of twists and turns, but the game never felt too crazy to me. It always threw one thing at you at a time and gave you breathing room in between. I feel like this game can almost be therapeutic at times. And out of nowhere, a reaper comes over to eat your face. This is what keeps you on edge while playing and makes the most boring of chores rather intense. I like how the game can reel you in through fear of the unknown. I was never scared of the ocean until I played Subnautica. Luckily, to my knowledge, reapers are fake. Or maybe not. I guess we'll have to find out. Another aspect of the game that brought the game to life was bases. You can make them as big as you want, as long as you build enough reinforcements. This can result in some insane looking bases. I unfortunately did not build my base until much later in the game. This was a struggle and slowed my progression quite a lot. As well as when I decided to move bases, it took a long time as well as multiple trips with the Cyclops to get all the items to my new base. This for the most part was completely my fault, however I still wish the game gave me a little more intel about bases in the beginning. Moving on to the vehicles, which are all fun to drive as well as hard to make. This especially goes for the Cyclops, which you have to scour the map if you would like to find any of the parts. This being said, I think that all the vehicles are worth your time and should be sought after. This includes the upgrade modules that make some important upgrades to your tech. This includes diving depth and even heat seeking missiles. All of these upgrades are kind of a pain in the butt to acquire, but it's worth your time. Vehicles make deep sea exploration possible, as well as protect you from any unwelcome guests. The Cyclops is just a mega base on floaties, and comes in hand later on in the game. The prawn suit's blueprints can be found in the Aurora and allow for deep sea exploration, but also can be utilized for drilling minerals. This is a quick and easy way to progress through the game. Subnautica is one of those games that will go down in history. 
This is through world building complex environments that add layers to the story, interesting lore that gets unraveled as the game progresses, along with many scary encounters along the way. Cool bases and even cooler vehicles which allow for an unnerving experience. Subnautica is at times addicting and it's hard to put down the controller. You never really know what you're gonna find, and that's what makes this game so appealing. Subnautica is not just another generic survival game, it is something so much more. It's a way to find clarity in the unknown. I will give Subnautica a 9.4 out of 10. What are some of your thoughts on Subnautica? Please leave your comments down below. I would love to see others thoughts on the game. And thanks again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more weekly content. It would mean so much to me as a creator if you could support my channel. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day.